to raise my hand, and there was a couple of, couple other people that raised their hand and said, hey, you know, we've been out of school for like 25 years. I reached a point that I couldn't help him with his homework anymore. And we usually sit and do the homework together, and I decided, you know, this would be a good time for me to do some homework for myself because I'm already doing homework for my eight-year-old. I was so discouraged. It's designed for working adults. It actually was a strategic plan. Um, they had tailored classes for specifically for pay students. That are designed for working adults, teachers that teach toward adult students, um, classes mostly full of other people like you, um, and what happens is that that kind of creates a community of support around you. What they should expect from the program is a designated counselor, a clear majors, a pathway to transferring to CSU East Bay. So PACE is pretty much the thing to be in when you're working and trying to do something more than you, not even just, just working. If you have a family and you have small children, it's also convenient because the classes are at night and you know, they're not like every day. So it kind of like help out with the home as well as when you're working, so. You can you can study on your own pace. You you can you can work. I work a day job, and I'm able to go to work and come to uh, school at night if I want. It, there's the option of taking classes online. A popular pace course is the humanities course taught by Carrie Kensinger. One of the highlights of this course is a field trip to San Francisco on a Saturday morning. What I like about the pace students is that they're taking an enormous risk by returning to school and it's a beautiful one because they're thinking about pace within the context of their own lives. And also I was a student who returned to college several times so I like to tell them that there's no stigma in doing that. They should expect being able to be part of a learning community that helps provide uh, extra support for students um, and it's designed for working people. Um, well, anyone who wants to be in PACE has to first uh, apply to Chabot College and view the PACE website and make sure that that's what they're interested in. And then we ask them to email me to request to be in, a pay, in the PACE program. Um, because we have to tell the computer that they're going to be a PACE student because our classes are restricted to PACE students. Um, you take your um, assessment, then it gives you, right immediately after, you get um, scheduled for a group orientation. Don't be afraid to come to, to, come, to, come to college. Um, PACE students oftentimes come with a fear of, of education. Somewhere along the line, education disappointed them. And their, their education challenge, in a sense. And they, they may be very successful in what they do in, in the outside world, but they come to college and by the time they graduate from the PACE program, they are empowered. Uh, we see that all the time. Most of us have that fear of going back to school and we're afraid. We know we can do it, but we're afraid. And I just... You're almost there. You're almost there. I, I never heard that before I joined Pace. Yeah. I don't know, I'm really proud of her though. Like, like, I think I was crying more than she was on her graduation. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. You see, when you see somebody strive with kids and work, and school is, you know, it's a happy thing. They come back afterwards with master's degrees, JD degrees. Some of them are in doctoral programs. It's like, and they thank, they thank the PACE program for this because it empowered them. 
I feel great. I feel like it's never too late and I'm going to accomplish everything that I want in life. Uh, pace has been great and I'm, I'm glad I did. It's the best thing I ever did with my life. Mm -hmm. To do it as soon as possible.